down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up. What's up, guys? I'm 63Z, and I'm here for the second time recording this, because through no fault of this game, through no fault of everything besides myself, I fucked up. Because when I go to sleep, my laptop has a big blue light on it, and it lights up my whole room. I'm like, I don't want to see this while I go to sleep, so I take the, the charger out. And I forgot to put plug it back into my computer when I woke up, like what I usually do. And I started recording the gameplay and the webcam at the same time, so that drains the battery pretty fast. And it, it wasn't even fully charged, it was on like half charge when I went to sleep. And I used it and I recorded for about 52-ish minutes, 52-ish minutes to record it. And then all of a sudden my laptop dies, I've gone through everything I wanted to talk about, I got some cool gameplay, got some cool kills, and all that kind of stuff. I actually got some, I think I got at one point a pretty good sniper clip, but, uh, so if I don't seem as enthusiastic, it's because I've already done this. If you don't already know what I'm talking about, this is going to be a review on the Black Ops 3 beta. Um, I was playing TDM before, but I'm sick of TDM at the moment. I don't like always playing TDM. I'm a domination per demolition person. Always love demolition. I don't know if I'm in frame or not. Yes, I'm in frame, but not very well. That's how we used to type back in the day because I didn't have anything like a keyboard to do and I didn't have the little touchpad thing but now on Xbox One I don't have it again I have the 360 fuck me dead I can't get a game game 50 minutes before I didn't leave the lobby once and it was beautiful it was a great connection so this is going to be my opinion on the game fuck I love the Vespa I, I used it before I used it without the suppressor and all that kind of stuff I, I'm not even going to try and talk about all that again because you know but this gun is so fucking good. This gun is so fucking good. I love it. People think this game is a lot like Advanced Warfare. The, 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 when I first played it, I thought that too. Um, then as you start to use it and you try and do the whole movements, it's not like Advanced Warfare. You have a movement bar. And basically that- Oh shit! Fuck. You have, mo you have a movement bar, which is this thing here. On the very bottom of the screen, you see how it's like going down? Yeah? Okay. So, I jump up. I can't... It doesn't just regain straight away. If you jump up, you use half of it, and you're starting to fall down, and it hasn't started to regain yet, you, it, won't, it won't regain it. it. You have to wait for it to regain. And if you interrupt it, it goes from there again. Unlike Advanced Warfare, you get two shots, a Nexo movement, and then you have to wait for them to regain. And even then, they didn't take very long. This takes forever to regain. You can't chain it together very well unless you're wall running, jumping, and then sliding. And even then, you don't get many opportunities for that. You don't move very fast um, when you jump and all that kind of thing. It's just very... It's very mellow. There's a couple of things with the game I do not like. Um, well, not do not like, but they, I think they need to fix up. There's a couple of things that I think they do need to fix up, and this doesn't apply to both too much, but one of them, it definitely does. Um, the shotgun. So the Haymaker is a fully auto shotgun, and I used that for about two, three hours on the first or second day, and the next day after, I used the pump action shotgun for a couple of hours as well. There's only two shotguns you can use, and the Haymaker, it is too weak. I think it needs to be buffed up. I was this far away from someone in the game, I put in half my clip to me, still did not, did not die, um, so I'm pretty sure that's a bit of a disadvantage for anyone who tries to use it. Um, it's good because of the fact that, you know, it's a goddamn, like, fully auto shotgun, but, you know, it's almost impossible to use because it does nearly no damage to anyone. It is so hard to use it because it's nearly no damage. You need to buff that up a bit. I'm not saying too much is going to be overpowered, but just a little bit more. The pump action and shotgun doesn't need too much, but I think it still needs a little bit as well. Um, it's just my personal opinion. Submachine guns are perfect. Assault rifles are perfect. Well, they're both nearly perfect. Sniper rifles are really good. I do not like uh, that thing. It's too fast to fire rate for it to be 
it's gonna be like the SVU all over again, but you know, then again, the SVU was fun to use at times. The recoils are pretty good, except for the Vesper, it has a bit too much recoil with the suppressor, but you know, I was expecting that, so that doesn't need to be fixed at all. Um, maps are really good. I'll show you a little glitch spot, not a glitch spot, but um, if you ever played High Rise and Modern Warfare 2, there was a spawn snipe between the buildings, and there's another one of them on Hunted, and I, I don't know if I'm the first to figure it out, but I was definitely, I definitely figured it out on my own. I was like, I wonder if I can do this, and I just used it to get the ground snipe, and then I used it to get the overlooking snipe, and you know, all those kind of things. So it wasn't, wasn't, I'm not t taking credit for being the first person to find it or anything like that, but you know, it's, it's a good spot, which I think people need to know about. Like, this is the haymaker, this thing. That sounds fucking powerful, but it is weak as shit. I'll show you what it does at distance. Nothing. Barely anything. I'm not saying make it the AA-12, because the AA-12 was overpowered as fuck, but you know. Look at that! Three, four fucking, one, two, three, four fucking bullets. That goddamn close to kill him. It's, it's difficult to play it properly. Play him properly is hard. Like, just look at him. Look at him! The most annoying thing about it is the fact that, you know, the laptop turned off, and I plugged it in straight away, turned it back on straight away. Usually when my laptop does that kind of stuff, it just goes into, like, a sleep mode. And it's, you know, it's all fine. You know, you just you come back in, the, everything's just there. It just hasn't started anything. But I got the face cam back from it, except for the last, like, minute of it was just me going, do, 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 do. But the gameplay was gone. It wasn't even in like the Elgato's like system. It was just gone. You can just jump like that. It goes in an arc form. So if you've already if you're up at your top and you're coming down, the movements aren't the same as advanced warfare. If you were in advanced warfare, you get to this point, you go straight up. There's no curve motion. In this, you're using a jetpack, so you have to counterbalance your gravity force going down. So you've gone up, you're going down, you hit the jetpack like right here, you still have to go like that. Straight up like that. It you won't go in a, in a direct direction straight away, you will have the arc movement. Fairly good, because like, this game, I'd say it's a 7, but a lot of the games usually start at a 7, either go up or down from there. Like, this game's a 7. It hasn't moved at all since then, but it's a 7. It's a solid 7. Um, Advanced Warfare it was a 7, down to 5. Ghost, 7, down to 3. After the first 6 months of playing it, it just went straight down. Um, <clears throat> then... Oh, actually, I'll show you the, I'll show you the spot. So you get right to this corner here, right here, right on this corner, and you scope down, just aim there. Like I could have shot some of them, but I, I, I wasn't ready for it. But right here is a nice little spot where you can just straight to the people that go for that courtyard. The game ends in about an hour and a half. Should. Um, if I got the times right for PST to AEST conversion, uh, I think at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. PST is 2:30 p.m. AEST Australian Eastern Standard Time, uh, which means it's Australian Eastern Standard Time, which means it'd be two o'clock here. Uh, so hopefully it's not too bad. I get like another 40, 50 minutes. It's like, a, it's, it's 106 now, so f probably 54 minutes, yeah, uh, quick minutes. Uh, all I did before was just play on TDM, so I'm giving you a, I'm trying to play something a bit more interesting to me, so this doesn't end up as bad. No, don't even try and think you're going to fucking plant the bomb, you little shit dick. Are you lying down with a reaper? What the fuck is wrong with you? Damn it. It's almost the exact same amount of time I've recorded for before. 40 minutes. And I'm not talking about anything. Well, I have, but like nowhere near as much. As I play, I slowly creep down. I just creep down because I play in my bed on Xbox One. Like my Xbox One there, TV there, double bed here. As you can see by the whole like bars. And my side table here, I have a little, little side table set up where this thing just sits on. Rocky. Fuck off. My review on this game is just, it's its so good. And I'm not saying I'm gonna love it in six months time. Like, hell, I said I liked Ghost when it first came out as well. I also said I liked the Advanced Wolf when it first came out as well, and I'm not even gonna try it. Hey! Maybe chill. Stand the hole. I feel like a dragon. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh, no, 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 no,